Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody, and if you're new here, hello, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. This is Motor Mike Media, and as always, I'm Motor Mike, and today, well, we're going to talk about the 2022 Land Rover Defender. And the Defender name is a staple in the Land Rover's lineup. Now, for years and years, the old Defenders, they roamed the Outbacks and stuff like that, and people loved them. And then it went away for a while, and when it came back a few years ago, it made a big splash. Now, some of the diehards weren't too big on the new design, but this is a very good interpretation of a modernization of that old Defender. So let's talk about real quick, we'll start with styling the front end. The front end, yes, it's a little bit more rounded than ever before, but I like the headlights. It brings this vehicle up to the modern era, nice LED signature, the body lines on the side, very squared off, some sharp body lines, harking back to those old uh, Land Rover Defender days. And the rear end, straight stop, <laughs> nice and flat in the back, just like the old Defenders, and a nice modern interpretation of these lights in the back. I really like how they look. It's that nice futuristic retro look. Now the interior of this vehicle is where it really, really shines. They can get a bare bones one. Cloth seats, you can even get three rows across, which is cool. That uh, middle seat will fold down, make a nice center console for you. And you can see that everything is up high in the dash. You can get rubber floors and stuff so you can wash it out. This is a vehicle that's supposed to be used like the old Defenders. A vehicle they can take off road day in and day out and get back out with no problems. This vehicle has 11.5 inches of ground clearance and can afford water up to 35 inches. This was designed to be, yes, more modern, so on the roads, it's way smoother than any Defender before, but still be able to go off-road and be very capable. Now, this vehicle, in other parts of the world, has a little bit more powertrains. Uh, overseas, they have a diesel engine that's uh, uh, mixed with a hybrid system, which is very cool. But in America, we originally only had two power plants, but now we have three for 2022. But also, there's been rumors about electrification, maybe a full electric Defender and other Land Rover products in the future, and more hybrids in the near future, which is always exciting to see. Let's talk about the power plants we have in America. First, a four-cylinder, two-liter turbo engine, and that makes about 296 horsepower and about 295 pound-feet of torque, so it's relatively peppy. Now, if you want more power, you can move up to a three-liter inline-six engine that's boosted and also paired to a model hybrid system, like a 48-volt uh, system. Now, that will give you 395 horsepower and about 406 pound-feet of torque. People really, really like that engine. It's very smooth, and you get a little bit better uh, range overall. But for 2022, you can get a big old V8 engine, which is awesome to see. That V8 engine is a 5 liter supercharged engine making 518 horsepower and about 461 pound feet of torque. Very, very good numbers. And the best thing is you can get it on both variants. This vehicle comes in two variants as of right now. The 90 series, which is a two door, I really like it. Sharp body lines. What I really like, it's a little bit smaller, so you have light trails, it's easier to go off road, or the more practical 110. Now, the 110, as of right now in America, has been the better seller overall. Uh, obviously, four doors, more space, it's way more practical. But there is rumors of them making a 130 that's even a little bit more room on the interior for third row and stuff like that. So that'll be exciting to see. I love how Land Rover keeps adding more and more things to this Defender, more power plants, extra trim packages, stuff like that to spruce this up. The cool thing is, they're going with a Jeep route with this. And what I mean by that is, not only are there multiple power plants, but they like to have extra accessories. You can get uh, rooftop uh, tents, racks, you can get extra storage on the exterior of your vehicle, different wheels and stuff to pick from, nice little trim packages that mix up the exterior, bold uh, colors on the outside, and there's even a big aftermarket support that keeps growing and growing, adding way more aftermarket support to this vehicle. Making it so you can personalize each and every one of your vehicles, which is always a cool thing to see. It grows the community, and the Defender community is quite large. So I wonder what you guys think. What are things you like and don't like about this vehicle? Do you like the two-door like I do, or you want the more practical four-door? And of all these power plants, what do you like the best? A four-cylinder turbo for that cheap affordability, or do you want to move all the way up to that big old V8? Now, a base model is like $47,000, and that's for the two-door model. And if you get the V8 engine, four-door, and stuff like that, you're going over $100,000. So this is a very expensive vehicle, but it is kind of exclusive. There's not a whole lot of these on the road as of right now. Obviously, over the years, there'll be more and more. But these are very, very interesting vehicles, and I really like them a lot. So please let me know all your comments down below. And if you haven't already and you want to, please check out my channel. I keep trying to get you guys more and more content. It's about cars, trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, combustion engines, and EVs. A little of everything. But please, like, 
comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you guys can stay up to date with the latest and greatest from my channel. And as always, I truly, truly appreciate you guys for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.